All right, so this is chapter eight, sections two and three, uh, part two. So I asked you guys to do these on your own, and I went in and I filled in all the text boxes. So this should be pretty quick um, in terms of a review uh, here. So let's go ahead and let's start labeling. Okay, so labeling is the most important thing here. So A equals negative two, B equals four, and C equals three. Once I know that, I can use the formula that I provided you guys for the axis of symmetry. Okay, and we can start filling this in. So X equals negative B over two A. So negative B would be negative four over two times uh, negative two. So this is negative four over negative four. So x would be one. So I'm gonna take one, all right, and I'm gonna plug that into my vertex. So I replace all the x's with one. So a was negative two, x is now one, b was four, again x was one, and C was um, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify this stuff. So one squared is one times negative two. Well, that's negative two. Four times one is four, so negative two plus four is two, plus three is five. So we know uh, that is five. So again, because we labeled A was negative two, B was four, C was three, okay? Because A is negative, we are going to open down, all right? And the parabola has a max, okay? So the axis of symmetry was X equals one. My vertex was one, five. My Y intercept, well, X is zero for that, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in zero up here. So negative two times zero, well, that is uh, zero, plus four times zero, well, that is also zero, so this is three, okay? Hopefully you're noticing the pattern that the y-intercept is simply the c value here. And now we pick a point, so if my vertex is one, five, all right, let's pick the point, uh, I believe in my notes, I picked the point three and negative three, okay? Now how do I get negative three? Well, I plug that in. So three squared is nine times negative two, that's negative 18, four times three is 12. So negative 18 uh, plus 12, well that's negative six plus three, well that's negative three. So now I have my three points, I'm gonna plot these three. So I have the point one, five, Okay, zero, three, and I have the point three, negative three. Okay, now I'm, I know it's a U, so I'm gonna do my best here, all right. Well, what is going on? Okay, so I know it's a U, so I'm going to Draw that the best I can, okay? So this, whoa, what am I doing? All right, we're just gonna leave that then. So that's what it looks like. And then uh, here, let's go ahead and put in my axis of symmetry. So remember, this is a vertical line through the center of uh, your parallel or your vertex. All right, here, okay, so A equals negative three, B was 12, and C is negative six. So this would be negative 12 over two times negative three, and then this would be negative 12 over negative six, so that would be two. So we're gonna plug two in, all right, x was two, so we're gonna plug two in. So negative three, a was negative three, x is two, b was 12, x is two, and then we have 
negative six. So when I go ahead and simplify this out, I have two squared, which is four, times negative three, that's negative 12. And I have two times 12, that's 24. So negative 12 plus 24 is 12, plus a negative six is six. All right, get rid of that. So I have six. All right, because we labeled, we already have all of these. So I'm just gonna fill them in. All right, here, because A is negative, it opens down and we have a max. All right, our axis of symmetry is X equals, uh, X equals two. All right, from right up here, the vertex would be two and six. Uh, the y-intercept, that's zero and negative six. And then my point that I'm gonna pick, I picked one, and if I plug that in, one squared is one times negative three is negative three. 12 times one is 12, so 12 plus negative three is nine, minus six is three, so that's where it came from. Go ahead, plot my points. So two, six, zero, and negative six, and one, three. So I plotted my points here. All right, so I know it's gonna go up. and then it's gonna come back down, okay? Let me change that to that color. All right, so there we go. And now I have to put in my axis of symmetry and there it is. All right, we have two more, okay? These I added in because they're a little different. A was three here. Notice there is no B, so B is zero, and C is four. So when I go to plug these in, B would be zero, and then I have two times three. So this would be zero over six. And then zero divided by six is zero, all right? So to find the vertex, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in zero. All right, so x equals zero. So we have three, okay, times zero. All right, and then we have zero times zero. And then we have four for c. So zero squared is zero times three is zero. Zero times zero is zero plus four well, we have four. So we have A is three, B is zero, C is four. Because A is positive, we are gonna open up. All right, we have a min now, and my axis of symmetry is X equals zero. And then the vertex is going to be zero and four. The y-intercept would be zero, and um, if we plug in zero, let's scroll back up. All right, if we scroll back up, if we plug in zero, we have zero, four. So notice the vertex and y-intercept are the same. So the point I picked was one. If I plug in one, I have one squared times three is three plus four, that's seven. So it was one, seven. Now I plot my points. So zero, four, one, seven. All right, and because the axis of symmetry is here, okay, let's do that first. Because the axis of symmetry is right here, all right, a few things we're gonna know, okay? And I wanna go over this. So I had this extra point here, and why did I put it right here? Well, because the axis of symmetry, the definition of symmetry is that it's the same thing on the left and right, okay? Because this point was one seven, and it's one unit away from my vertex, then this point 
also has to be at seven because it's one unit away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my parabola. And there we go. All right, last one here. I added this one because there was no C value. So A was two, B was negative four, and C was zero. All right, so now we have negative negative four, and then A is two, so we have two times two. So we have four over four, and we have one. So we're gonna take that and plug it in. So we have two times one squared, plus negative four times one. Okay, so that's going to be negative two plus zero, all right, is negative two. So we're gonna go ahead and plug each of these in, which we know because we labeled, all right, because A is positive, it opens up, we have a min, axis of symmetry is x equals one, the vertex was 1, negative 2. The y-intercept would be 0 and 0. Okay, because we plug in 0, we have 2 times 0 squared, which is 0, minus 4 times 0, which is 0. And the point I picked, okay, was I wanted to go with something a little different, so I went with 3. So if I plug 3 in, I have 3 squared, which is 9, times 2 is 18 minus four times three, which is 12. So 18 minus 12 was six. So I plot my point at one, negative two. So that's right here. All right, and then I have a intercept at zero, zero. And let's do the axis of symmetry. So that's gonna go vertically through my vertex. Ooh. All right, so the reason why it's the axis of symmetry, again, is because we have the same thing on the left and the right, and notice this is zero, zero, okay? So it's one unit away from my vertex to the left, and it's at zero, so one unit away from my vertex to the right has to be at zero. And now I'm going to go ahead and Do my best to draw my parabola. So there we have it. And that is chapter eight, section two and three, part two. If you guys have questions, let me know.